We're bringing you some exclusive news. It's Navy's worst kept secret that's not been brought to the public eye for five months now. On 10th of July this year, naval ship INS Nilghat, which is moving at a very high speed, collided with a Coast Guard ship Sankalp. Now, this is near the Mumbai Naval Dockyard. These are the exclusive pictures that show you the extent of damages that were suffered by both of these ships. It's been five months since that and Times now learns that neither a board of inquiry has been initiated nor any action has been taken yet. Ashish is joining us on this story. He's got this exclusive details uh, and the pictures for us. Uh, Ashish, take us through the sequence of events and how it looks completely like it's been covered up and downplayed by the Navy. Well, that's right. Uh, before that, uh, it's, it's clear-cut evidence that nothing has changed after the resignations of two admirals, including one um, Navy chief. In February, we have seen uh, uh, former Navy chief Admiral D.K. Joshi resign because of series of such incidents. And uh, after that, Vice Admiral Sheikh Asina, who was the head at Western Naval Command, who also uh, resigned due to these reasons. But uh, the series of incidents continue at, uh, at, at Eastern Naval Command and Western Naval Command as well. The incident we are talking about about is of uh, uh, 10th July when uh, uh, the Indian naval ship INS Nirgat, which is a missile boat, it uh, uh, rammed into a Coast Guard ship, which was a st which was stationary at uh, uh, one of the berths at Naval Dockyard. Uh, the Coast Guard ship is ICGS Sankalp, uh, and this incident occurred at around 9:20 a.m. on 10th July 2014. The bigger issue here is that uh, the Indian Navy has not ordered any board of inquiry into this uh, matter, and they are uh, trying to down played by uh, terming it as a contact. In fact, uh, we have access pictures and uh, uh, the reports. In fact, a third party report which was carried out by the Indian uh, uh, Registrar of uh, Shipping and it clearly mentions that uh, uh, at least Coast Guard ship has suffered massive damage and it requires permanent uh, uh, repairs in the in some section of ICGS Sankalp. Right. Despite these proofs, the Indian Navy has not ordered any uh, board of inquiry into the matter. This clearly is an indication that nothing has changed even Absolutely, after the Absolutely, Ashish, of after so admirals. many accidents uh, that we've seen in the last few years, the fact that there were high-profile resignations, uh, it, it's really surprising that there was no board of inquiry set up in this specific case. We, In fact, when Times now questioned the Chief of Western Naval Command earlier this week, he downplayed the accident and said the Naval Headquarters is in the know. Hear him out. Last people who want ships which are not okay or which are not safe is the Navy. So you can be rest assured that it cannot be the intention of the Navy just because of pressure from say the media or anywhere else to not take cognizance of incidents and accidents where they take place. However, because of those unfortunate incidents that you have referred to, now it has Almost every small little, not an incident, occurrence, even if a chap falls and breaks a leg on a ship, or if there's a minor electrical sparking of a short circuit like happens at home, these things are unfortunately being thought of, and you're welcome to think of them as incidents. And since there has been focus on the Navy's uh, sort of last year of incidents, these are also being relayed as incidents. I can assure you, given the media, uh, should I say, spotlight today, neither is it possible nor is it desirable for the Indian Navy to try and hide any incident. In fact, as you may have noticed in the recent past, if there is any incident, the first thing we do is to put out a press release. 